today I'm going to be doing a video on the difference between spring water versus distilled water. Spring water versus distilled water. A lot of people say, what's, what's the difference between the two and which one is better? Okay. Okay, so spring, what's the difference between the two? So spring water is... Um, a natural source of water. It's usually you get it from an underground source, um, like an underground um, water source, and the water is then um, brought to the surface. Usually it gets purified naturally um, through like um, the water coming through stones, um, and it's a natural um, process of being purified. It's a little bit different than a, than well water, which is just on the ground, and you use a piping system to <laughs> get the water. Um, okay, so that's spring water, and distilled water. Um, it's usually um, purified through a process in which you use you boil the water, and the water then turns into steam and then it becomes steam and then the vapor um, is brought back down into liquid form and in that process all of the impurities are then removed okay so um, so basically everything um, is stripped from the water the good and the bad so, but you are left with nothing but pure water, uncontaminated, all the toxins are removed. A lot of people um, believe that tap water, um, drinking water, is okay just as it is to drink. Um, I will disagree. <laughs> I used to drink um, tap water and I didn't have any issues with it originally um, besides the taste. So I thought, you know, there's nothing wrong with tap water besides, you know, it has a little bit of a chlorine taste to it. Okay, so um, I can only speak for my tap water, but this is probably um, typical of most tap water. Um, they use a process of purifying it where they add things to the water, such as chemicals to help to remove the toxins. And I used to think this was fine, okay, until I started um, brewing my own kombucha. And then I found out that if I use tap water, then I'm not going to go through the whole process of, of making the kombucha because that's probably a different video. But I, my kombucha was growing a lot of um, bacteria on it that was um, harmful. So I had to start using either distilled water or um, spring water instead, um, which I was using distilled water. So. I knew that everything was removed from the water so that um, the process, um, I can um, brew my kombucha. And it's a similar, th similar thing with bear. If you're making your own bear, you want to use um, water with all the toxins removed. So uh, this is when I say ha ha, my ha ha moment that this water that I've been drinking for all these years has a lot of crap in there, a lot of stuff in there that um, may be causing me harm. So our bodies have our bodies have the ability to sort of remove a lot of the toxins, but why make your body have to go through this process? You know, why not just drink pure water? drink water that doesn't have all these toxins and chemicals in there and your body can only work so hard so you're ingesting all these toxins on a daily basis okay so I um, 
Me personally, I do the spring water and the added benefit that I find with the spring water is that it contains a lot of other minerals. A lot of minerals, um, depending on where you're getting this spring water from, it's, I get it local to me. Um, you know, it has different springs have different minerals um, in there. So me personally, um, I enjoy the spring water because it has these additional minerals in there. Um, but um, the negative part of you know drinking spring water is that you know you want to make sure that you, <laughs> that you get it from a good spring where you know it's not. You want to make sure you test the water first and make sure that it it's not contaminated, doesn't have anything um, in there because you know it's you're getting it just straight from the ground, so you're not you're not bringing it through any sort of like chemical processes. Um, so the the benefit to drinking distilled water is you are sure that everything is out of there, you know, especially if you have a really good um, water distiller. Um, I'll try to leave a good one um, at the bottom of this um, video, so if you have any questions about that, but there are a lot of different good um, water distillers that you can use. So I kind of use both. I typically go to the spring um, when I'm unable to, unable to go to the spring, whether you know it's bad weather um, and I'm out of water, um, I tend to drink distilled water, okay? So I, I rarely run out of water because I usually plan it out pretty well where you know I go to the spring um, ever, you know, I plan out, you know, how much water I drink and when I next need to go to the spring. Uh, so I'm pretty good at planning that out. But there are times where, you know, it's, the weather is pretty bad and I know that, you know, there's no way I'm going to be able to make it up there for a while. Um, I drink distilled water. So there are benefits to both. I mean, if you live in an area and um, Actually, there's this website that I found very beneficial. It's called findaspring.com and, and you can search anywhere in the anywhere, the US, anywhere, any country that you live in. Um, you just type it in and you know, you can find a spring. So I, I realized just looking at the map, that there are places where you're nowhere near a spring. So then, um, yeah, so you, you might just be drinking distilled water. So, um, so that's it, yeah. Um, another aspect to drinking water is I tend to put my water in um, these glass bottles here. For storage so I usually store them in these this is what my um, my bottles usually look like this is a empty one pretty much um, I try to drink at least three quarters no yeah three quarter um, yeah three quarters this bottle if not the entire thing in one day um, a gallon of water um, in one day um, and I found that to be helpful. It depends on, you know, the day, <laughs> but I try to make sure I drink enough water um, for that day. Um, so yeah, I tend to store them in glass containers because so the plastic doesn't um, leak into my water. Um, so it's like, what's the sense of, you know, making sure you're drinking good water if you then put it in a cheap plastic bottle. Um, some people um, use the plastic containers and um, transport them because they don't want the... Because I actually have a system so I can put these bottles side by side without them hitting together once I'm driving. 
um, but another way of doing it is to transport it in plastic and then transfer it into a, a glass one once you get home. That's um, helpful as well. Um, so yeah, so I think that's it. That's all I'm going to share with you. You know, you have a good, um, get a good purifier, um, water purifier. Um, make sure you get it, get your spring water from a good source if you want to use the spring water. Um, the added benefit to drinking spring water is you, um, you have a great source of water and you have lots of great minerals in the water such as calcium trace minerals um, that can that are have, provide you with additional benefits the setback to the spring water is you know you want to make sure you test the water make sure that it is um, you know doesn't have any contaminants in there and um, you also want to make sure you're aware of what the pH level is you know because the all the source all those springs I've gone to so far the pH levels are always a little bit different and um, so thank you for watching my video um, hope you benefited from this in some way